Have you ever imagined what you will do if Julian is set free? What is his wish? Yeah, I mean, we, you know, it'd be nice, if, you know, I, I would do. I imagine Julian coming home for Christmas this year. It would be good. Um, I think if he gets out, he's going to need some time to um, to recuperate, uh, you know, uh, I think, you know, to sort of rehabilitate himself after this ordeal. Um, so I hope he has some time to spend quiet time with his family, with his children uh, and his fiancée, Stella, um, so that they can just take some time to, uh, you know, become a family again and, and, and you know, do normal things, um, you know, go down to the park, take the kids down to the park or, or you know, go and have a coffee or something like that. I think um, that's a pretty nice uh, dream at the moment. How are his two children? They're, they're very cute little kids, my nephews, um, you know, Gabriel and Max. Um, they, you know, they're, they're okay, but, you know, it's, uh, they're still quite young um, and um, they don't have a great grasp of, of um, you know, what's going on. Um, one of them has only ever known Julian in, in the prison. Uh, he's never known his dad to live outside or, or, or anything like that. So uh, when they grow up more and begin to understand what's going on, I think they'll be very um, proud of what their father has done um, and they'll, they'll get a better understanding. But at the moment, um, it's, uh, you know, this is what they know. This is their life.